Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a book review on Body Parts by Caitlin Rother. This is a true crime novel. In 1998, in the sunny state of California, there was this man who decided to turn himself in to the police because he had done something pretty bad. Now, originally he went to his brother and asked his brother, should I turn myself in for this stuff that I did? I don't know if I should. And his brother being the same person that he was, was like, yeah, you definitely should. So they go into the police department. They sit and wait patiently for a cop to come out and talk to him. And he says, I did something real bad, real bad. And then he proceeds to pull a breast from his pocket. He had cut a breast off of a woman and brought it as like evidence with like, here, I did something bad, you need to arrest me now. This man's name was Wayne Adam Ford. Wayne, of course, wasn't to blame for his situation. No, he instead said to blame was his parents, more specifically his mother. He always felt like his mother didn't really want him which was not necessarily true. Then he proceeded to blame his ex-wife, saying that because she took their son away from him after the divorce, that she was to blame for him going crazy. Then also he said that his two head injuries that he had and his mental illnesses is what made him do these terrible, terrible things. And maybe that's partly true. Maybe that had something to do with it. But in general, Wayne was just one sick puppy. Now, if you like true crime, this would be a fantastic book for you. If you don't like uh, gross, gory stuff, then I would definitely skip it because it does talk about gory stuff. Like I said, it talks about boobs being cut off and Wayne does talk about the stuff that he did. He confesses very openly and freely about it. When he goes into the cops, like, he wants to die. He wants to get executed. It's He knows he did something bad. So he is very open and honest about all the things that he did for the most part. In this book, it does start with him going to the police department turning himself in. It talks about his childhood, about his exes, about the crimes that he did. It talks about his relationship with his brother. It does also go on to the court hearing, which was a rather lengthy bit of the book, but I didn't find it boring personally. I actually rather enjoyed it. And the other interesting the other interesting thing about this is that Wayne kind of gets like his own little groupie. It was a relatively somewhat famous person from Europe who um got into contact with Wayne and is his liaison per se. So I thought that was also interesting too. I think Wayne personally isn't covered nearly as enough as what he probably should be. If you go on to like a podcast or yeah, if you go on to podcast and you try to Google shows about him, there's only a couple that come up. Like a lot of big name true crime podcasters haven't even covered his story. And it is a very interesting story. So I do appreciate that the author went through, wrote this up and had it published. I personally listened to it on Audible and I was able to get it for free. It's under like the free section true crime area. And like I said, I enjoyed listening to it. I would highly recommend it if you are into true crime. It kind of just opens up another serial killer that you don't really hear much of at all. But I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye everyone.